beating a marker has long been second nature to Ida Gudjonsson, but he never thought he'd beat Father Time. Iceland's 23 failed attempts to reach a major tournament had looked to confine the country's top scorer to goals against the likes of Liechtenstein. But their stunning Euro 2016 qualifying campaign means Gudjonsson will end a 20-year international career in France at the age of 37. It's been a long ride, it's been a roller coaster ride. And to go through all of that and to come to the end of my international career on a high like this is extraordinary. And to be part of this moment in Icelandic football is, uh, is a privilege. This nation of Viking descendants has taken the football world by storm despite a population of just 325,000 rising 109 FIFA ranking places in three years. But defeating the Icelandic weather has been their greatest victory. The summers are incredibly short in Iceland. The winters long, dark and brutal. Playing football to any consistent standard in those conditions is virtually impossible. So Iceland created their own climate in here. Iceland now has 11 of these specially built football houses. The game can be played all year round and every child has the opportunity to be trained by a professional coach from the age of three. It's allowed the Icelandic league to regularly churn out talent for the top divisions in Europe, gaining vital experience for the national team. Iceland's Swedish coach Lars Lagerbeck will retire after the European campaign and hand the reins to his assistant. He says the plan is to continue to do things their own way. If you, if you want to become like Spain, uh, Iceland will never be as good as Spain, so we will always be just a bad replica of, of Spain. So we have to find our own identity and just work on them. And I think that is the most important, not to jump to trying to do something that we will never be best in. Iceland will have to face one of the best straight away in France. Their opening match is against Portugal and Cristiano Ronaldo. Paul Reese, Al Jazeera, Reykjavik.